uh, how do you pick and choose uh, the best birds for breeding? Chicken breeding is the process of finding uh, the suitable mates and pairing them together to come up with the best offspring. Farm with Mwela Farm and you will never regret. Mwela Farm, the world's best organic poultry farm. Uh, chickens are chosen for breeding because they are best examples, you know, and uh, uh, they must be good egg producers or uh, they may, maybe they are good uh, egg producers. Maybe they com they have good conversion ratio, or uh, they convert food into meat easily, or they put on meat easily. It is easier for uh, uh, it is easier to breed uh, chickens, but uh, to do it collectively, it uh, uh, to do it collectively so as to produce the better chickens takes time and skill. So. I'm Abraham Tumuramye, CEO of Miza Farm. Now, how do you choose birds uh, for breeding? How can you know that this bird, uh, sh I should now take it for breeding? So, uh, never choose the birds uh, or never choose any bird for breeding that has been ill in last 12 days. Uh, or, I mean, in last 12 months. So, if the bird has been sick in that year, Never choose it for breeding. And always pick the vigorous chickens that are active and mobile. Okay? And select the birds that have right body size, shape and type. Okay? So that, uh, uh, and uh, breeders must be free from uh, deficits and fetal genes. You know, those which are very small uh, compared to other chickens, those must not be uh, used for breeding. And those which are maybe... Uh, don't show good results, uh, they should be of the good genes, you know. And chickens chosen for breeding, uh, stock must be the best uh, uh, representatives or, uh, according to other uh, according to other chickens. Uh, when you are choosing, maybe here you have to see how when you are choosing layers. And you have to choose layers uh, when you see that the chicken maybe lays frequently uh, maybe it is quick to mature to leach at the point of ray, or it has the good egg size and with low number of uh, egg deformity, eggshell deformities, you know. And maybe uh, maybe it has the longer uh, reproductive lifespan, or and it is uh, it has good efficiency, or it is, it's very uh, small, very small portion of feed to produce large quantities of number uh, of, of, of of eggs so with layers uh, you don't need to uh, to you don't need, you don't need hens that are large uh, or maybe heavy or regularly that all that uh, regularly goes broody so you have to pick eggs which are slim surrender and which do not go broody okay so those eggs will be those chickens are the best for breeding uh, for egg production. If you find uh, when you're choosing uh, for broilers or for meat, uh, if you're breeding for meat, uh, you have uh, you should uh, choose the bird. Maybe uh, uh, breeders are. Uh, are meat birds, you understand that, uh, and they, they are selected for their ability to put on meat quickly for the least amount of feeds they consume, you know. So when you're selecting those birds, you have to look for good size uh, with well, uh, with well, uh, uh, with well uh, builded muscle or which has very good muscles. Uh, it should be a good feed to weight uh, gain ratio. Uh, good looking uh, carcasses, you know, when you just uh, slaughter a bird, you have to see that that chicken is very good, uh, or it looks so big. That is the one you have to just choose uh, for breeding 
the broilers or for meat. And a good meat, uh, a good meat to bone ratio. You know, some of the chickens have but very be uh, uh, very much muscles compared to their meat you know so it should be having the good uh, good muscle compared to its bones you know uh, then uh, uh, good, it should have a good taste because you know we are breeding it for meat and then after it should be uh, eaten so you ha it should have uh, the ve uh, uh, the good taste and the uh, and the texture uh, you know uh, and the texture yeah, but the texture of the of the meat uh, uh, largely depends on how you lay the chickens uh, uh, the genetics of the of the bird uh, you know the uh, the feeds you give it that is what determines the texture of the bird but the test primarily depends on yeah on on, on the genes and it should have calm temperament and uh, it should be it uh, that bad which produce a reasonable of two eggs uh they are usually best and uh when you are selecting for show birds uh show chickens are are held for exciting standards and they should get to know your you should get to know your breed better you know every breed you can raise it for sure no matter how it is in the body shape you might say that you maybe want to raise the layers for for sure or brothers for sure or your purpose for sure all of us for sure so what needs when you're raising chickens for sure you must first understand your breed better you should know be knowing exactly in and out of your breed you know and uh, when you uh you have to just make sure that uh, the the combs are fine the feathers are fine it looks so shiny and uh, it has a, a quick nature a, a calm nature a quiet calm nature uh, this is just required for sure but because you know they are touched frequently you know understand that Of you say how long should maybe uh, the breeder be uh, or what is the age for best for breeding uh, uh, chickens for breeding uh, should be between seven to three or four months uh, the reason being is that uh, the chickens which are just below uh, seven months like this one is really seven is it below seven months so I can't use it just for breeding because uh, uh, relatively, when you just lay a chicken, they will start to lay at uh, four months or five months. But you have to just wait for two months before you get those eggs for hatching. Uh, if you want to hatch and uh, you want to breed them, so because uh, that is when those eggs will be mature and you produce the very strong chicks and which are viable. So when you just select those chickens, make sure that they are above seven months. Or they have may, maybe or they have been laying for more than uh, seven uh, seven uh, above seven months. Uh, some people say, how many birds should a beginner start with when he wants to start breeding? Uh, here I just got a, a, a question and uh, I can say like a selective breeding is much more a trait than the large you know selective breeding is much better than using uh, uh, many birds for breeding you, you, for breeding at least I would adjure you to start with maybe you stock like five 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 with one cock one cock one cock and you have three separate rooms if you want to breed actually that will be because you understand that this chicken uh this this chick is from this cock and this mother this chick is from this mother and this one but when you talk like 100 and then you say you're going to breed them at a go you not understand how which one is working better or which one is not working better so uh you will need you at least need three pairs uh to make a start as the chicken breeder
during the hot days. You understand? Maybe when the sun is uh, abundant. You understand? That is when the chickens tend to be more fertile than others. So, uh, like those who are watching me now, and you're maybe you're in America, or you're in Europe, where you experience winters and uh, and summer, the best season for breeding if you're there is summer and spring. You understand? But when it comes to winter, no, don't breed. You understand that? Don't breed that those chickens. So the best time for breeding is summer. The best breeding for those who are in Africa is during the sunny days. a question from you that who asked me that is it possible for backyard farmers to be able to breed their own chickens yes there are some breeds which are very easy for backyard farmers to breed but and there are those ones which are very uh, difficult to breed from especially if you're like in america in europe uh, like we have the, this bird that is called cornish this cornish is very difficult to breed from because it needs to be met twice before it is fertile and before it gets fertile before it is it get get fertile so it depends on the chickens so at least you get you have to understand the flock you have and the birds you have but these larger birds are usually difficult to breed from say how long does it take to breed a chicken uh, becoming a chicken breeder really takes patience you understand this point so uh, to successfully lay you understand you have to understand that to successfully lay a chicken takes uh, around 31 weeks for that bird to get well mature then a cockerel you will need a, a, that chicken to be with a, a, a cock uh, for uh, for two weeks before you collect those uh, the eggs for hatching for breeding, and if you collect those uh, eggs for breeding, uh, after those two weeks, those eggs will be incubated for three weeks, and that will be already five weeks uh, after collecting the eggs, collecting the eggs and hatching the eggs. That will be five weeks because you you just have to wait. If the chicken have been with another cock, you have to just wait for. Two weeks before you collect those eggs and then you also you will also uh, need more three weeks to incubate the eggs to get the chicks so becoming a breeder really takes much of the time and it really takes patience you have to be patient enough uh, so that you get the accurate breed you just you are targeting to get out of your Uh, say that uh, they have a big problem you know, understand with knowing f1 f2 what is the meaning of f1 f2 f3 and that you know uh, the the number which we usually use in poultry meaning f f number is like the one we say f1 f2 f3 we use uh, f to determine the generation of the birds so f is the number or is the is that number we use it to define parents if we are parents or the breeders so when you want to raise uh the maybe you are targeting a particular uh, target of the chicken and then you get you select certain chickens for breeding and then you say these are my i'm going to use these ones as my breeders those chickens will be f you, you understand that so when you get so when you get uh the chicks from those chickens which are f those, that would be an f1 meaning that is a generation one so we use f to determine the generation of the birds and the sequence how the generation for each other so it means that parents are f so when they hatch they have f1 
if you breed from F1, you get F2. If you breed from F2, you get F3. When you breed from F3, you get F4. When you breed from F4, you get... Uh, I can say, right? You, thanks for watching. You are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe. Give, uh, give us what you think in the comment box below. Uh, 